Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. So today I have for you an empties video. I have so many empties. I'm not sure why. Actually, I do know why. I have a ton of empties and the last empties I did was back in November. So if you're interested in seeing what I've used up, what I haven't used up, what I would repurchase, what I definitely would not recommend, then please keep on watching. Okay, I'm gonna start off with some candles. I have this from Bath and Body Works. This is the Marshmallow Fireside. I used this up a while ago, but um, yeah, I, I liked it. I, would I repurchase it? No, but I liked it. I, I have stopped purchasing candles from Bath and Body Works, so once I'm done with what I have, I think I have a couple left, I'm not gonna be repurchasing from them anymore because it's been, kind of giving me a headache. I probably should just donate them is what I should do. But, so I have this one. I also have this one that's Campside Coffee. I thought I would love this one. And I do, but when I burn it, you can see that I only used half of it. It gives me such a headache. I don't know why I was trying to force myself to finish using it when it gives me a headache, but I do like the smell, because I do love coffee and the campfires and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna use the rest of it and I'm just gonna get rid of it. As you may or may not know, I'm trying not to use, um, I'm trying to stop using makeup wipes. So I have these two makeup wipes that I've emptied out. I do still have a few more packages left in my uh, stash. Once I use those up, I'm not gonna be buying these anymore because I've been using makeup erasers, which have been great to, to take off makeup, even swatches. So once I use up the stuff I have in my stash, I won't be using these anymore either. And as for cotton, I used up this pack of rounds because um, I use these when I take off my nail polish. And this, I think is just from Costco. So I don't look for anything in particular when I'm finding cotton for my nails. I do have this pack of cottons from a Japanese dollar store. I think it was like 350 or something like that and it's supposed to mimic the Shiseido ones, but it didn't, it wasn't as good. But I did go ahead and use that up and I also finished up a Shiseido cotton rounds. Now, if you guys can tell me of a reusable cotton round that doesn't soak up so much product when you're using like toner on your face or something like that, please let me know. The ones that I have, um, they soak up so much product that it's not really cost effective for me and I wanna be cost effective and environmentally friendly. So if you guys have any recommendations, then please let me know. But I did use these up. Okay, then I have some of these Grace and Stella eye patches. I think this came in a Fab Fit Fun. I only saved one of these packages because I didn't want to get all the serum out of here. I had to let it dry so I wouldn't get it all in my junk. But I enjoy these. I'm not going to purchase these again. It did help with the crepiness under my eyes when I put um, concealer on afterwards, but it's not worth it for me to purchase these. If I keep getting them in my box, I will use them though. I have a bunch that I got from Korea that I still have, so I will continue using those, but I won't be purchasing this particular one. I also have from Curology the Emergency Spot Patch. I usually use the ones from COSRX, but I got this in my Curology uh, prescription box, so I went ahead and used these up for pimples. And when I feel a pimple coming on, I will put the pimple the little round sticker on there overnight. And when I peel it off, it gets all this gook out. It's like satisfying to get all that shit out of there. You know what I mean? So I did use this up, but I'm not gonna be purchasing the Curology ones because I like the ones from COSRX. Okay, I also got this Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion from one of my subscription boxes. Now I'm trying to use up all the moisturizers and cleansers and all those kinds of things that I get in my subscription boxes because now the only subscription box that I subscribe to is FabFitFun and they have lifestyle as well as beauty products. So I stopped my BoxyCharm and Ipsy subscriptions a while ago but I still have products left over that I need to use. So I finished using this up and I won't be repurchasing this. It was okay but I like my Tatcha water cream so much better. So, so this skin perfecting lotion from Murad I won't be repurchasing again. I hadn't used Murad in years. I think I used them when I was like in my early 20s because I was breaking out a lot back then and I used their whole treatment system but I haven't used them since but I only use this because I got it in a subscription box so I won't be repurchasing this again. Okay I have the May Love Glow Maker here and I didn't finish using these because it got rancid before I could use it. Look at how orange it's or yellow this is and it's not supposed to be this color so I'm getting rid of this because it's old 
but I would repurchase this again but I have a vitamin C serum that I'm using from Timeless that I'm really enjoying so I don't know if I'm going to be repurchasing this anytime soon but I wouldn't mind using this again, but I'm getting rid of it because it's expired. Okay, I finished this from The Ordinary. It's a lactic acid 5%. I've already gone ahead and repurchased this Ordinary lactic acid in 10%, and I use it every morning before my moisturizer, and I like to have this lactic acid to help the turnover of my skin, and I've been really enjoying this, and Ordinary is so cost-effective, and I get mine from Ulta. So I've already repurchased this, and I'm using the 10% now. So this one is a good product. I got this Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum, but I tried to use it, and you know what? I don't really notice a huge difference with this. So I'm gonna try going without this for a little bit and see if I notice that my discoloration is not getting resolved quickly and if that's so then I might repurchase this again but as of right now I'm just gonna wait and see how it goes because I'm trying to decrease the amount of steps I do in my skincare instead of increasing it so this is a maybe we'll see but I did use up the whole thing but I don't know if it worked or not so I'm gonna wait and see it and if I notice that the discoloration is worse we'll see but this did not help with my hyperpigmentation so there's that I did also use up from the ordinary there was veritol and furolic acid this whole serum, I use this all up. I'm not gonna be purchasing this again either. I'm just gonna wait and see and if I, if I notice a difference in my skincare. Like I said, I'm trying to decrease the number of steps, so I might get this. I'm also tempted in going back to SkinCeuticals. I haven't used them for a while, but I remember when I used to use SkinCeuticals, my skin looked so good that I'm tempted to go back to it even though it's so expensive, but as for this furolic acid and resveratrol, I'm just gonna wait and see how my skin acts. Cause I'm trying, again, like I said, I'm trying to decrease the number of steps I'm doing in my skincare. The other serum that I have is from Timeless. It's the Matrixyl Synth 6 Serum. I did use this all up again. I'm not gonna be repurchasing this because I am trying to decrease the number of steps in my skincare. I just wanna make sure I get in my retinoids, my vitamin C and lactic acid and um, a toner and I'm trying to decrease my steps to see if my skincare or if my skin still reacts the way I want it to without all these extra steps because I don't know if it makes a huge difference or not so I'm going to wait and see how this goes like I said with the other serums too so I'm not going to be purchasing this for now okay the other serum I have is from good molecule it's a super peptide serum I got this in a box from uh, beautylish I don't remember why I got this now, but I did not purchase this, but I got it somehow. I don't remember now. And I did use this all up. I'm not gonna be repurchasing this again because I'm trying to decrease the number of steps in my skincare. So I won't be repurchasing this either. I, ha I have a bunch of lip balms here. I have two from Fresh. I have a caramel and the blood orange, one from Emile Corden and two Laneige ones. And what I did was I melted these and then put them into a container a tubey squeezy tube like this so I wouldn't have to stick my fingers in there. So I did empty all of these into these tubey and this tubey I finished up already. So this is what I plan to do with all of my lip balms where I need to stick my finger in because I hate using my fingers. I'd rather just put it into one of these, you know, where it has the lip thing so you can just squeeze it out. So I emptied all of these. I did finish a Kosas lip oil. This came in a set of three and I used the clear one all up. This one is in Jellyfish. The other two colors have some pigment to it so I don't find myself using those as much so I may just declutter those but I did use this. I enjoyed it but I don't think it's worth the extra money to buy Kosas versus something from the drugstore because I like some of the drugstore lip oils as well so I won't be repurchasing this. Okay, I did use the Pharmacy Freshen Up All Natural Deodorant Stick. I like this. It doesn't do a great job of an antiperspirant, but it doesn't make me smell. It's kind of a minty smell to it, and I have my son using this one, but I will not be repurchasing this because I love the one by Drunk Elephant. That one is a cream. I didn't think I'd like it, but it helps with the perspiration and the odor, and it's amazing. I really, really like that one. So I've transferred over to that one. I do have one more of this left that I will be using, but after that, I'm just gonna stick with my Drunk Elephant. So if you're looking for a good deodorant that's natural, go look at Drunk Elephant. I swear, once you get used to the cream, you're gonna love it. So I have that. I also have from La Vanilla, the Pure Vanilla, the Healthy Deodorant. I like this. I tried this even before I used the one from Pharmacy. 
So I didn't finish this up and it's old, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. So I, this is the natural deodorant I used to use, but I'm not gonna be purchasing these anymore either. Now I did finish my Curology. So this is my retinoid and it has niacinamide, tretinoin, and trans, tr tranexamic acid. So I use this in conjunction with the moisturizer that they send. I do one, I do one pump of this with two pumps of this and I put it all over my face and I'm using it almost every night now. And I'm not getting the dry patches because my skin has gotten used to it. So I will continue using this from Curology because now when it comes to that time of the month, I only break out like with one or maybe two pimples, whereas I used to break out a lot with the hormonal acne. So this has been working really well for me. Okay, I saved one of these. I use the Sensodyne Pro Enamel Gentle Whitening Toothpaste. Now my teeth are really sensitive. So I started bleaching my teeth when I was in my 20s. So they've gone through a lot of bleaching. <laughs> They've gone through a lot of bleaching processes. Right now I use the Crest White Strips because I'm not going to the dentist because I like to do where you go into the dentist and during your lunch hour they'll whiten your teeth. But I have, you know, since we haven't been doing any of that, I've just been using Crest White Strips and I've been pleased with that. But it does make my teeth sensitive. So I do use the Sensodyne Toothpaste. So I have this from Trader Joe's. It's the Refresh Citrus Body Wash. I've had this for so long that I think it's congealed into something funky. I'm not gonna buy this again, but I'm just getting rid of it even though I haven't used it all up. So I'm trashing that. I also have this French vanilla bean from Philosophy. I didn't use this all up, but I've had this for a while. So I went ahead, decided to clean out my shower because I have so many products on my, on my shower bench that I'm gonna just declutter this because I'm not using it. I haven't used it for a while. I also got the Rituals, Ritual of Sakura. It's a sensational foaming shower gel. It's organic rice milk and cherry blossom. It's kind of a moussey type of body product. So I use this all up. I liked it. I got it in a subscription box. Are you noticing a theme here? I need to stop my subscription boxes and just purchase the things I love. Subscription box and I'm glad I tried it, but I wouldn't repurchase this again. So I have this from Young Living. This is the lavender bath and shower gel. I used a lot of this up, but again, I'm trying to clean my shower bench and I'm not gonna finish this up. It's been, I've had this for a while, so I'm just decluttering this as well. Okay, I have this from Bath and Body Works. It's a pink magnolia shower gel. I've had this for a really long time. And you can see I've used most of it up, but it's kind of old and I'm trying to clean out my shower bench like I told you, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I did finish up my Orbe Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo. In my last declutter, I had the conditioner, but I always go through the conditioner faster than I do the shampoo, so I finally finished this off and I have repurchased this. So I have repurchased it. I love Orbe, love, love Orbe. I don't use it every day, but I do have it and I did repurchase this. I get it in a set with their dry texturizing shampoo and the shampoo and conditioner. I think I get that from Beautylish when they have their Beautylish gift card event, but Orbe is now sold at Sephora. I just got that text yesterday, but I do love Orbe, especially their dry texturizing spray. So I have repurchased this. Now I loved this Biore UV watery gel SPF 50 PA++++. This is a Japanese one. I get this off of Amazon or off of YesStyle and I really enjoy this. Now the reason I haven't repurchased this again is because I'm trying different SPF right now, but I would repurchase this again. So this would be the Japanese one with the SPF 50++++. This is a mineral sunscreen and I think it works really well and blends into my skin beautifully and it wears well under makeup. So I would repurchase this again once I go through all of my other SPFs. Right now I'm using the one from Glossier, which is a chemical sunscreen. I also have one from Glow, which is a mineral sunscreen. So I'm interspersing using those depending on what I'm gonna do with my face that day. But I would definitely repurchase this Biore one. Now Michelle Wong talks about the Shashuan Dark Dry Powder Shampoo. Now this was available as an add-on on FabFitFun for like half price. So I bought three of these. And so I've used one, I'm in the middle of one and I have one as my backup. But I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this. Um, I like it, but I don't love it. And I have dry shampoo that I love, especially the one with the Byredo, which was a limited edition of the Ghost Mojave and Whey. Oh, I love that one. I'm trying not to use that so much because they don't sell it anymore. I wish they would make that a permanent line because I love that dry shampoo and it smells so good. But 
I'm gonna go ahead and finish using these up. I used it today and it does a pretty good job of absorbing the oil. So yeah, I won't be repurchasing this, but I'm gonna use it. I have this razor from Billy. Now Billy is a subscription for razors that you get and they, you fill out a questionnaire and it asks you how often you want the razors to be sent to you. And this has like five blades and it shaves so close to the skin. Now I use the L'Occitane almond oil as my shaving cream and it leaves my skin feeling so soft i don't get any ingrown hairs and it's just the best shave ever with the billy subscription so i have these i saved one <laughs> i have the pharmacy very cherry clean i love the pharmacy first step cleansing I use this one up. I purchased this when I thought the cherry flavor was gonna be limited edition. Now this is the last one I have from them. I have the regular pharmacy one, the green one, the green clean. I'm almost done with that one. And then I have another backup already because this is my favorite first step. If you guys know or have a recommendation for a first step that's less expensive than this, that works just as well as this, please let me know because I like to use this and put this all over my face then use a makeup remover and wipe it all off my face before I go in with my second cleanse. But if you have a recommendation of something that's less expensive than this but works just as well, let me know down in the comments below. I'm, I'd be interested in trying that. I have two of these from Sunday Riley. These are the CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. I got these in a subscription box again, and I liked it. Do I love it? It's a little bit heavy for me to use every day, but I did use this, um, and it works especially well for me in the winter time when my skin's just a little bit drier. But when I was using Curology and my skin was a lot drier and I would get dry patches, I used this and it worked well. But I'm not gonna be repurchasing this because my favorite is the Tatcha Water Cream, which I wish I could find a dupe for that. <laughs> So I won't be repurchasing these, but I did use these all up. My daughter finished this up, the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. She uses all of my Boom Boom stuff. I have repurchased it. I got the biggie, the big one, and I have some of the travel size ones that I'm gonna, I use as well, especially when I travel. So I did repurchase this and I love this. I have this in the perfume. I have it in the shampoo and conditioner. I have it in the shower gel. I just really enjoy this smell. The pistachio caramel is so good. Now, my girlfriend did try this and she said this perfume smell was too strong for her, but I love it. My daughter loves it. She smells delicious. And she's only six. Why is she using all my stuff? So I have repurchased that. Oh, I have one of these EOS lip balms. Ooh, it got yucky that I finished using up. I used to use these before I got into Laneige, so finish that up. Throw that in the trash. Now here I have the Revital Lash that I was using. Now I did not finish this lash serum up because it made my under eyes, like all around my eyes, super brown, like all the way down. And once I stopped using this within a week or two, that brown disappeared. So I decided to stop using it and I'm really sad because this is really expensive. But I'm gonna trash this because of that. And I went back to my new lash. And I did finish using up my new brow. Now this really worked in helping me grow my eyebrows right over here. Now I have half brows where it's just half like this and then this part is really sparse. So I've been using it here and it's really been help helping my eyebrows grow in. So really enjoying this. I am, I have another one that I'm using right now and would definitely repurchase this. Oh, I have another Revital Lash. I actually finished one, started the new one, but finally decided to quit. So I have two of these. Okay, I also have a brush head from Clarisonic. Now they're not making these anymore but I think I have two left because I would buy them when Ulta was having their beauty event and the scrub heads were 50% off. I use this in the shower so I use this um, with a cleanser to wash my face in the morning in the shower or at night. When I wash my face at the sink I use my Foreo so once I go through all of my brushes then I'm going to throw the uh, Clarisonic away because they're not making that anymore. So bye. Okay then I have my some of my favorite mascaras that I finished using up. One is a Thrive Cosmetics and I love this Thrive Cosmetics because it's a tubing mascara. This is very similar to the Hourglass Unlocked mascara, but this is a few dollars cheaper, but the Hourglass is easier to get because this Thrive Cosmetics, I heard they sell this at Ulta, but I haven't seen it. 
but I purchased this from the Thrive Cosmetics website. And the thing with Thrive Cosmetics is for every one you buy, they donate one, which is always really nice. So I really love this. I do have a backup of it, even though I haven't opened it yet because I have so many open mascaras right now. But before I found the Thrive Cosmetics, the Hourglass Caution Mascara was my favorite but I'm not gonna be repurchasing that. I've decided to hold um, buying products from Hourglass because I want them to get the message to try to be more inclusive because they've been really, um, they've been asked by so many people to try to be more inclusive in their range of products and they have not responded well to that. So I've decided not to purchase from Hourglass for a while, but I did love this mascara. So I will continue to use the Hourglass products that I've already purchased, but I won't be repurchasing from them until they resolve that issue. Okay. Woo! Went through a lot of products. Products from subscription boxes, which I sought my subscription boxes to BoxyCharm and Ipsy, so that should help, and I only get fat food fun now. But Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions below or recommendations down in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video and I'll see you next time.